So we have a couple more roaches being produced and links. 14 more links coming out. And Tunneling Claws being upgraded. Uh, does he already have Burrow? He does not have Burrow yet. So that is a, that's an interesting combination. Okay, there he is. He's getting Burrow. Uh, very uh, interesting because usually you want to get Burrow before you get Tunneling Claws because Tunneling Claws doesn't do anything unless you can Burrow. So he must have forgot that that uh, <clears throat> the researching bro right there. So we can see a Hydralisk bin being placed for Damaga, and he's getting that level one attack upgrade. He could be you. He's a lot of more energy on that that queen than he really should have. He could throw down a creep tumor and just cover his entire base with that creep tumor. That way, he wouldn't have to use these overlords as scouters. But there we go, we have that queen laying down another creep tumor. Very important for Zerg to expand that creep as much as possible. He has his second extractor, or fourth extractor finished now, saturating it <clears throat> with three drones. So let's check along at the production, or uh, the income tab. We've got the Zerg player with only a two harvester advantage, which is quite interesting because he had that expansion up a lot longer than Kiwikaki did. But Kiwikaki has been chrono boosting like crazy on these probes. Chrono boosting actually both of his nexus here. He's chrono boosting, but he's not making any units. He must have just finished building one. So we've got a Twilight Council and a Robotics Bay being placed. He does clear out his rocks here to his next nearest base. And a little bit ahead of him, Damaga over here with his expansion. So we do have those roaches hidden underground there, which is a little bit of them sticking out. Looks like we're having a couple more hydras being added here. We may see a little bit of transition into hydras. So he's actually behind on the harvester count right now, which uh, is not what he wants to be. But let's check the army size wise. Even wow, he's even behind an army. He has a more food advantage, but uh, he spent less money on it. So we'll see how the Zerg player can do. He actually there's an observer there picking off those creep tumors, and we're gonna have a fight right here. Some force fields trying to make the Maga run right there, but the, that tunnel pause is not gonna be as as effective as he wanted, as he wants it to be because of the observer. So Demaga kind of forced here. Uh, we're having a change in tide of the fight. We saw Demaga early game, and up till now, mid game, uh, with complete map control with those links, doing a very good job of picking up those zealots. But now uh, we have got uh, ooh, we actually we've got a fight going on here. Kirikaki deciding he does not want to fight this. He sees way too many hydras. That reinforcements of hydras uh, is too much for him to deal with. And we're having a very strong push here by by Demaga. He's gonna need some really clutch force fields here if he wants to deal with these, but those tunneling claws let those roaches regenerate uh, regenerate life so fast. Look at that thing go up. That is insane. I don't even think like I think these things could regenerate their health four times over in the time it takes to even build a roach. Whoa, actually picking off looks like two roaches right there. Maybe just maybe it was just one. But uh pushing bad up. We just have a little tug of war going here, left to right, left to right. Huge player hiding behind their grass. We have some more roaches and overlords being produced. Looked like Damaga got a little supply blocked right there. Got a little too caught up in a little bit of fights in the middle of the game. Let's check back to the income tab. We got 56 to 50. So Damaga isn't really building that many workers right now. He's focusing his entire larva production on uh, hydras, it seems. Hydras and roaches. So he's got eight more hydras coming out. We may see a push as soon as those, those eight hydras finish. We're still sticking with... A uh, stalker and sentry combination here for uh, Kiwi Kaki with just two or three zealots. This overlord is in position. He looks like he did run by. He did see that. Actually, this broad ling up here does see that. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a fight right here. That observer is going to see those roaches. Those roaches are going to be picked off unless they start a fight here. Those hydras are too far back. He has not yet replenished that creep tumor, which is definitely what he needs here. He needs those creep tumors to deal with these uh, these stalkers in the middle. Those hydras are just so slow. They're like molasses going on anything. But when they're on creep, they are ridiculously fast. So I would really like to see him do that. He does have enough energy to lay a creep tumor. He could easily lay a creep tumor on that edge and then uh, lay a creep tumor here on that edge, put an overlord here, drop some creep, and then jump it down here. That would really be helpful for him. Look like we have some observers com or overlords coming out. He may be laying some, generating some creep, which is really what he needs for this fight. Looks like we have some force fields going down. We have some tunneling claws. He's doing some Shawshank Redemption going underneath those babies. And uh, those Hydras are completely blocked off. He needs to fall back now. Those Force Fields are really uh, denying those Hydras any damage. And uh, there's some that creep that he needs. Very nice. Uh, 
Very nice use of creep there, even without those. Oh man, he's losing so many roaches here to that observer. That one observer is so killing in this game. If he had one overseer, one overseer, the mod could just kill that over. Oh my gosh. In this fight, is uh, Kiwi Kaku's doing some great micro right now with these blink stalkers. They're just blinking all over the place. Looks like he's warping in some stalkers down here to get even better concave. I think Kiwi Kaku's going to come out on this fight ahead. Yes, it looks like he's going to come out ahead. Roach, uh, we have five roaches being produced in like uh, another. 20 food worth of units coming in. Oh my gosh, those reinforcements were ridiculous. Damaga is actually pushing now. I thought Kiwi Kaku just had that, but it, it's not looking like that anymore. Come on, Damaga, get one over or one overlord or overseer to kill that observer. It'd be so nice. Oh, he's just hydras now versus stalkers. More roaches coming in. There are a lot of hydras. Uh, they're really dealing some serious damage to these stalkers. Probes even coming in to do some fight, but he does not want to lose these probes. To lose his economic advantage. There are just you know, a few stalkers left. He does have about 600 resources, so he can be warping in some units. There he goes, he's warping the units, just spent all that money, but he just lost the majority of his army. Just generating only stalkers right now. I guess he feels extremely confident with his blink micro, but he just lost one more unit there. He needs to be blinking up and lose that unit there too. Demaga is in a very powerful position right now. He has a complete contain on Kiwi Kaki. Uh, using those roaches, those meat shields, and those hydras as the DPS. His army has two upgrades, so those hydras are doing 14 damage. And they are in this base. This is not looking good for Kiwi Kaki. He, he needs some Colossus to deal, with, to deal with the number of these Hydralisks he's up against. He lost his number advantage that he had earlier in the game with those stalkers. And Kiwi Kaki calls good game. So a very uh, close game back and forth. So we had Demog in the lead with those Lings. And then Kibikaki come back with uh, those stalkers and zealots, uh, take the map control. But it seemed like uh, even though he didn't have any creep, uh, he still managed to push up in this base. And uh, even with a little bit of missed micro here with those roaches, losing way too many roaches, that over, over uh, observer, uh, he managed to push up here with just sheer number of hydras. And he didn't even bother going for this expansion. He could have at any point just sent like, a couple of units up here to, to deal with this, but he was just wanting to go for the kill, go for the jugular, and end the game. So, uh, moral of the story for Damaga, get an overseer. See you guys next time.